Good evening, everybody. Welcome to tonight's continuation of Spoopy October. We're going to see if we can finish until dawn tonight. How's everybody doing? Welcome, Rusted. Welcome, Minyu. Minyu just resubbing for... Boy, has it been three months already? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. I... Just, it always leaves me speechless. Thank you so much. I, I really do appreciate it. You guys have no idea how much I appreciate it. Um, man, I can't believe it's already been three months. <laughs> now, if only this game didn't terrify me. <laughs> so far, it's been... Uh, I mean, it's had a few jump scares. But so far, it's been pretty good. Like, it's felt more B-movie-ish. Like, I mean, it's definitely... It's campy at times. I love it. <laughs> Rusted rubbing it in with his tier 2 heart emote. <laughs> oh. Rusted, I don't know if you caught up with where we were. Um, a, a major plot point had been revealed. Like, fucking mind-blowing twist. Something I wasn't expecting. <laughs> Alright, so you've played the game. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's just dive in. I believe it is going to do a last time on Until Dawn. I've tried to leave, like, end the streams on that, so that way we can have a nice little recap. So let's see. Yes. Here we go. Josh. <laughs> Josh! How does it feel? Do you enjoy all those emotions that my sisters got to feel once, one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off. No! Nope! No, no, no! They're gone! Jessica's fucking dead. What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. You were gonna fucking pay, you ah! dick! What happened with Jess, Mike? I don't remember killing Jess. <laughs> Christ. Oh, God. Oh, my God, Matt. So as far as I have, and I don't even have confirmation with Jessica being dead, but it seems everybody is alive. And now we got this asshole. I don't think she's gonna live, though. Don't do it! What the fuck? It rusted. Just. <laughs> One question, what choice did you make? Bros before hose or crush before your crazy friend? What do you mean, like, in, when choosing uh, if Josh or the girl dies? Oh my god. All right, I'm, all right, let's go. The buzzsaw? Yeah, I chose to uh, kill Josh, actually. Which, had I not chose him... I have a feeling that would have been a big mistake, and Ashley would have been dead. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Um, what's in here? On reverse, Billy Bates, Blasting Crew, Northwest Mines, Alberta. Hey, Billy, I had a great time. Look me up if you're ever in Calgary, Loretta. So, so far, I think I've actually managed to keep everybody alive, despite despite my efforts to, especially my efforts to kill Emily. Phoenix Growl, welcome. Because I do not like Emily. Emily is a fucking raging bitch. Let's go 
What is this? Blackwood Mines. These areas are have recently suffered structural collapse. Please contact Foreman H. Tanner. Refer to Map 7A3 for more details. I think we're going into them. Russ Devil, thank you for the host. Do appreciate it. Yeah, Emily is just a stuck-up bitch that only thinks about herself. I, I can't stand her. I even went as far as I didn't try to help her when she slipped. Um, I jumped away from her when the tower was falling, and she's still alive. <laughs> I don't like her. It must be like a 20 minute flare or something. But I'm sorry, if she was holding it in front of her face like that, she would be absolutely blinded. Whatever is down here, I'm fairly certain it's not okay. nice. Okay, this is gonna be the way. Oh my god. Shit. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you don't have any power. Oh, you do. For me, I got that. I the most satisfying end for Emily. <laughs> Minu, I appreciate you sticking it out. <laughs> oh no. I think that was a good idea. You did a playthrough where you got everyone killed. <laughs> to somebody else. Okay. I was honestly just watching Mr. Freshman at AG. And you came to join the scary games. Everybody, can you 
give me a split second. My dad's calling. I need to figure out. He's had some issues. I'll be right back. All right, everybody. I am back. Dad got a bunch of test results back today. And Hold on, Jack wants something. All right, let's continue. Are you alright? I didn't think that I'd make it. You were screaming I, bloody I, I, murder. Okay. You were totally lying. There was something. Where's Matt? Come sit down, sit down. Something's out there. Did you there. guys pull it off? A monster in the Wait. Monster. I went from a happy game where you jump around, murder people, to a game where people are killed in horrific ways. Um, confused. What are you talking about? I said there's something out like there. Like what? Ash, relax, it was Josh, it was all no, Josh. No, 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 listen to we me. We got him tied up, he can't hurt you. No, it was after me and it wasn't human. Hold on.
what happened? M, can you tell us exactly what happened? I am trying to tell you. Oh, the happy we game was Fortnite. The tower <laughs> and it, it fell. The whole tower just fell right into the mine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What mines? Fortnite's fun. There are these mine shafts all over running under everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand. The tower fell? How'd it fall? I, I was walking down there in the mines, and it was dark, and I found this pile, and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head. I found Oh, my God. It. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. All right, rest of that sounds good. I think they fell down there. I haven't oh, won a single Christ. game yet, either. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like... From the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks. When we were all up here looking for her. We had no idea. <sighs> That's horrible. Listen, in in the tower, there was there was a radio, and, and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh, God, yeah, yeah, Mike. <sighs> What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and there was this monster. <laughs> Matt's that was just gone. Her. She's all messed up, guys. Emily? Hey, Em? Whoa. That, I don't. Who the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess. It's not Jess. Sorry, Emily. Who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. Could it be Matt, everybody? Matt. Come on. Or it's flamethrower dude, but I I feel like flamethrower dude's a nice guy. <sighs> I'll cover the door. Open the door. You ready? You ready? Damn it, rusted. Just do it already. <laughs> Whoever it is is probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to take a gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the. Gun. Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Freeze. Oh, what? All right, all right. Just take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Now, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. Okay. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mound. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with him and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Oh, we're responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh. I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> Door's still open, yeah. Well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. Oh, really? Who? What's he talking about? The hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only gonna tell you this once. Wendigo are Native American creature uh, folklore, if I remember right. Get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shh, not Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. Oh, <laughs> You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Guys, name I drop. <laughs> Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No, no, he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No, I'm gonna go get him. You can't go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. And I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. <laughs> you wouldn't name drop again. <laughs> ten out of ten. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. Don't go outside again until we're back. 
You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. No, I don't think I'm he going does. To get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. I am going to trust this man because he has not burned us to a crisp yet. And he definitely could have if he was a psycho murderer. <laughs> no, you do. How do you know? Trust me, I know. Hey, come back soon. Uh, we need to hurry, son. I, uh, I'll see you soon. All right, Rustin. No problem, man. So, so, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. Oh, damn it. Uh, what's uh? What's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. Uh, so, how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? You want to say things, but I also fire. don't want to. I don't like <laughs> fire. They fear it. I'm going blind on this game. Their skin is like it's like tough armor unless you burn it off first. It's gross. It's gross, but that's how it works, man. Well, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy, unpredictable, or I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? They adhere to some pattern. Welcome, Pentahybrid. How you doing? Like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. Anyone not following Fenta Hybrid, go follow that man. I know most of you in here do. The, uh, if you're not, though, come on. Tips? Like if I rub garlic all over if we're gonna be friends, smell me or something, you gotta follow Fenta Hybrid. Anything like that, I can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. ASP is like, there's work in the area. It should be done by EPM. It's currently after ten. Oh, God, that sucks. Oh, shit, Josh is gone. And there's a lot of blood right there. That's why either Josh went crazy and busted out of the handcuffs, or Wendigo did this. Right now, we gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. First, the Wendigo. He'll render you immobile, and then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. He keeps you alive. Feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. It's like he's watched this before. I'll watch that. Let's go now. It might still be near. I did not guess the reveal. You're talking about uh, with Josh. Oh, the Wendigo? No, I did not. I did not guess that. I honestly was not expecting some Native American folklore coming oh, up in this. I don't know enough Run. about Wendigos. Oh, damn it. I was scratching. Run! Go! Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. oh 
血。Oh shit. Oh, you better run, motherfucker. Ah, uh, you gotta ah. run, dude. Ah. Ah. Oh, nope. You don't worry about that. You just ah. run. Shit. Oh shit. Is it still alive? Smash it, smash it. Oh, thank God, please let me in quick. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God, what happened? We gotta, we gotta go. Oh, I'm fairly certain his head getting cut off is pretty scripted, yes. Take this from Oshka. Oh, more people go through it. I'm the only one that's done that. Yeah, yeah, I kicked the wolf. I'm sorry. Hey, Phoenix Hero. Oh my God. How you doing, Phoenix Hero? Took you so long. It's not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, uh, yeah, he doesn't have a head anymore. He didn't make it. No. What happened? The thing it tore him apart right in front of me. All the doors. Yeah. Yeah, it's all the tweets, man. What are you looking for? Moving is a pain in the butt. I can't I, imagine what it's like I, to move to another province. Stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I would not buy all that. Wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top. That thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning. People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. Damn. <laughs> that is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah. I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I, mean, I know they keep dropping until dawn. No key for the cable car. Over and over Josh, and over. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh. Those dirty little tricks. Great, great. That fucking thing got a hold of Josh. Then, we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? <laughs> it may have taken him down. He'd explode. Mind. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and. Huh. Em. What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. All right, chill out, Nathan Drake. And what is all that? So uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It's horrible. You were? There been a cave-in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. God. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody had been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're going to get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying. How much crazy shit's gone on up here? Yeah. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading. OJ the to Awesome, welcome back, buddy. See? That's how I got back here. Glad to see you here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Dude, she just doesn't um, die. And like, I um, missed a bunch is, of prompts. Huh? What is that? What is what? It's nothing. It just it, it no, bit no, me no. and bit you. What bit you? The Wendigo. What? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's. It doesn't hurt it's anymore. It's not that bad. It's not bad, guys. Em, Don't kill me. That thing bit. I I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes, Emily. At least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, you guys have never even heard of a Wendigo. How do you know that? Remember, he said no. that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens if it bit you, you're gonna turn into one, and then you're gonna turn on us. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! You can't be down here with us. What? Mike! You gotta go. Are you kidding me? Yep, I'll be there in a second, buddy. 
in danger. Why the hell are you? Emily, you can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do. I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? You've been voted off the island. Right, right here. <laughs> I am letting you do this voluntarily. Execute that. Oh no, way. you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mike, calm down. You're... Dude, Mike's Finish. losing it. Mike, me? This is the safe room, M. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. No. Not for us. Don't, don't do that. I'm really sorry. Oh my God, do I do it? <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I just can't. No, I can't do that. I hate her, but I'm not gonna go and fucking shoot her in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Flat yeah. fuck. <laughs> no one okay, it's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. You can't be a Kingsman now. <laughs> I want one of those to get her. Shot her the first time I played this, most satisfying end. <laughs> I thought that that he was gonna help us with a flamethrower, dude. Now we don't have a chance. I don't know if I said this already. Evil Just Empire guys, the game. Thank you for do this the host. She can die, just not legit by me doing it. Okay. <clears throat> only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I'm the only man who has ever kept them under control. This guy's a little OCD. I wanted to read that. Um, heed these words, or it shall be your death, and your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism. When a human is desperate and craves food, trapped in the mountains in the fierce winter storms... When he has eaten nothing for many days, the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse. Often those companions who have traveled with him, he will eat the flesh raw from the corpses. I have seen this happen. Many years ago, a craving for flesh that cannot be sated. And when the change begins, the eyes turn first and become milky and white. Then the teeth become longer like fangs, and the creature grows and the skin is pulled taut across the bones. Okay, so... Just before I go to the next page of this, the yo mix mix, welcome to the stream, dude. How you doing? Um, the uh, the dude, the flamethrower dude, his eyes were going white. One eye was completely white. He had removed certain teeth. I wonder if he was becoming a Wendigo at one point. There was a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. Their shamans tell stories of the tall creature born in ice. The tribe There's a lot of history to this. Stop it. The tribe respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred also. The Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere. Uh, but for Sam, I mean, Ashley, Jessica, Chris, and Mike are all the best to me. But dude, Matt... Matt's gone, man. He went off on his own, and that is the last time I've seen him. <laughs> in 1893, the miners arrived. They found tin and later traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Crees say that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. The Wendigo's eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo sees movement. It says that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans... When they hunt us, they know how to perfect No, I don't think he shot a flare. We did not see him die. I jumped and I left I left Emily to die. And that's the last I ever saw of Matt. Um, it is a hunter like a hawk, but it cannot see stillness. If you are to keep totally still when the Wendigo will not be able to see you. 
The skin and flesh of the Wendigo are hard like armor. They seem to feel no pain that cannot be cut or stabbed. Bullets will not pierce their skin, though a shotgun will keep them at bay. Because the Wendigo is mutated from a human, it knows how to hunt us. It can perfectly mimic its prey. You must remain sharp and disciplined. I have killed six Wendigos. Knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It's the best weapon. Fire envelops them, burns away their skin, and makes them weak. But try not to kill them. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I have contained them. I use traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs and from those who had no further use for them. One by one, I caught those who infested the mountain. He's, he's gone. That's just it. He's gone at the moment. <laughs> gone does not mean dead. <laughs> There may be differences, uh, defenses. Shamans wrote of rituals. I have found native artifacts on the mountain and copied them. Totems, bunches of herbs and feathers. I copied their designs. I have tested them out. Out on the mountain, they work. They keep the Wendigo at bay. Not entirely, but enough. But inside buildings, they do not work. Cree legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo. But the bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but I did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There's no other way. Um... Oh, no, 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 What is it? What does it say? M, you're, you're okay. It says that... Sometimes temporarily, Minyu. you. <laughs> if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um... It says she'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine? Michael almost shot me. Is that she fine? Didn't shoot you. Yeah, that's this fine. This bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair. She was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm, sorry. I'm regretting my decision to allow her to live. There's none of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. Please, Emily, please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get to Mike. The gun's there. Now. Ashley could just do it. End it. <laughs> That's true, Penta. Oh, Joshua. You should have listened to me. Because of your choices. Have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death, or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year? Huh? The faces are all kind of creepy. To die? You did nothing to help. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear, while a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you. I'm beginning to think Doctor Hill is not real. <laughs> no therapist would talk that way to their patients. <laughs> your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. What a weird thing to imagine. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become, huh? Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Um, I'm gonna go with they hurt me. Well, they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake, and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. I did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry, at least, until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. I'm sorry. Let's hope that it's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you. Something worse than death itself. Okay. 
<laughs> oh my god, guys, thank god. What took you so long? It's not so good up there right now. Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. Uh, yeah, he, uh... Wait! No more. I'd almost say that they're. What are you looking for? They're almost equal, down. OJ. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Because standing by, Josh, knowing it's happening, I think it. would be just then as bad as that? triggering it. They may have taken him down to the mine. Thank you, Penta. That guy was. Um, I was couldn't put my finger on who that reminded me of, and it reminded me of Tim Robbins. Fuck! I can't do this. Oh, you did the right thing. Keep an eye on her. I'll be back soon. Nine. Despair. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, give me one quick second. I need to go help my son with something. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Get my headphones in. Not as good as Jessica's, though, I have to say. Is that a citrus close? back under here. This is not going to end well. wonder if he's going to find Jessica finally. I mean, we don't have confirmation that she's dead. We never found her body. She could very well be alive still. I mean, up until the elevator fall, most of her wounds seemed kind of superficial. Oh yeah, we checked this already. I found that last time. Looking for Ninja Turtles, the old ones. Um, I thought they had them on Netflix. Er, no, they don't. Because I was looking for those for my son. I want him to watch the old, the good ones. The ones I grew up with.
These are the parts I hate. Just the wandering. This is when shit jumps out at you. I don't like it. Alright. It's like a crab. Okay. A danger totem. And I think that's gonna happen out here. Holy hell. Adam White, Evelyn Daniels, and Charles Miller. I don't know who they are. What's the significance of that? Can't walk up there. Okay. So... Stairs? Let's go up the stairs. So if we're at only two hours left in the game, or two in-game hours, uh, we possibly could finish this tonight. Depending how long these last two hours go. Penta, did you end up making it any further in that game? Ooh, sawn off. I just need a pitchfork and a mob. Eh, might as well take it. Wait. Did you have a flashlight? So we're just gonna go with a torch. That makes sense, right? Ah, good enough. Oh, oh, this way. All right. I bet you we shoot the lock off that other one over here. Damn, that's <laughs> that's loud on my end. showing him that I was the alpha. That that's what it was. Damn doggo. Scared me. So now Minyu, are you going to be able to watch the Amnesia playthroughs? I know you said you, this game scares the crap out of you. Amnesia scares the shit out of me. I'm terrified to play that game. But we're gonna do it. Alright. There goes nothing. Awesome. Um, you had beaten the bucket snick. This game is really gory. 
I remember hearing that some of the executions were banned in uh, Japan originally when it came out. They had to modify a couple. Which, that says something, when it doesn't get banned in the U.S., but Japan's like, yeah, you know what? No, that's a, that's a little over the top. <laughs> it's a little too gratuitous. Oh, God. Oh, poor doggo. Oh, it is. Yeah, like, they, they take it to a new level. <clears throat> what went on here? Let us out. We are starving, freezing. I will nuts. make you pay. Stop testing us now. What the fuck happened down here? I hate the core. Okay. I can understand that. Nope. There's there's a creepy little friend over there. Uh, it could be the fact that they use such lifelike models too doesn't really help that Penta. I, I could see how somebody could be disgusted with it and not like it. Oh yeah, this is straight like you're playing a slasher film. Maybe that's why I like it. I really enjoyed like House of a Thousand Corpses, which was just straight slasher film. messed up. What the fuck is going on around here? Oh, that's messed up. What the fuck? Core transfers to film easier than game because in the game player's mind you are the character. So watching a movie gives you a different chemical release than a game. Oh, yeah. Medical examination. Progre progression of skeletal hypertose. Hyper. Hyperostosis? Flat Penta Divinity Campaign. <laughs> oh, wait. No, 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 no. I want to watch that. Hypodermal. Epidermal dispigmentation expected after time underground, severe curvature of thoracic region, post traumatic kyphosis, corneal dystrophy, and clouding. Acuity 2160G. Can't see shit at that point.
There's someone in there. Concern. Well, he didn't get far. No. <laughs> Rusted I Oh god. I muted it. I don't need that extra scare. <laughs> Not a problem, man. Thank you for coming on by. You still have a flashlight, dude. Is he talking? Come on, you son of a bitch. Jonas Fanson, thank you for the hoops. Where are you? I'm like on the edge of my seat. Okay. He's caged. Fuck. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fuck with him. He's caged. One at a time, boys. Enough of me for all ya! Uh, uh. 
Not to move. Yeah, he wasn't there. He doesn't know. Oh, crap. And then he also doesn't know not to kill them. Sharpe Kitsune, thank you so much for the host. Welcome, everybody. Yeah, and we just ran... I didn't think it was going to kill them. I thought it was just going to burn off their skin. Oh, crap. I don't even know what that's end up... I don't know the consequence of what I just did. I don't... It just says that it releases them. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> like, are they going to possess me now? Oh, I hear our buddies. They're here. I'm not certain where... Escaping, or are we just going back to where there's more of them? Spirits have I just released? Oh, my God, she's alive. She's alive. See, she never died. <clears throat> Indeed, Penta. Indeed. For days. 
She hasn't eaten for a while, I bet you the fucking thing's gonna go and try and possess her. Oh. Come on, guys, hurry up. We gotta find Mike. Come on. Hey. It's just, why can't people just I'm, stay I'm put? Out here, guys. Stay uh, the fuck I think maybe put. You should go on without me. Uh, we're not leaving you, buddy. No, Chris, we're not leaving you. We're sticking together. Mike will just have to wait. Same Penta. This we can agree on. <laughs> I don't know why. Bert Miller coming in with the five bits. Thank you so much. How are you doing tonight, Grace? No, no. Everybody's alive so far. Oh, oh shit! Mike must have locked behind him. Crap! There's got to be another way in. <sighs> Wait. Hey, what about this? I mean, should, should we try it? Well, it's not like we got a whole lot of choices here. See, I'd have to say Jessica's that one. <laughs> yeah, Jessica's actually alive. Okay, this is maybe the last place I would want to be right now. So who's going first? <laughs> After you. Emily, I think you should be the one to go first. It's not so bad. You think this is the tunnel to the sanatorium? Of course it is. Where else would it go? Oh, please don't go in there. Chris, I knew you're hurt, but you gotta move it, all right? I don't know who you were I'm hosting. Trying. <laughs> hey, um, hey, we should close this, right? Huh? I mean, what if something's following us? Yes, fine, close it. But we gotta keep moving. Can you just catch up, please? Yeah. Oh, I don't want this. This is not gonna go well. Okay, we're fine. I'm sensing some bad decisions. I really hope not. This is a fucking messed up tunnel to be in. Never split up. Oh. Exactly. Who's there? I don't believe it. Don't believe it. It's a Wendigo. It's mimicking. Jessica! Is it you? No, rejoin group. I'm not gonna trust it. Hello? It said that they know how to hunt us. Look there. Wow, right. The 
ladders to us. We're never gonna make it up there. No, 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 I think I can. I think I can do it. It's like a rock wall. I'm gonna keep going. We should head back to the lodge. I gotta get my stop Good separating. Luck. That this is what's gonna kill people. Oh, Penta, shh. <laughs> it's not like a rock wall. It is a rock wall. Thank you, Grace. That's totally what I was thinking. So. <laughs> uh, that was a long drop. She made it. She made it. I can beat you. It's in the contract. Drop down. I don't know if I should have done that. Vlad ignore, what are you talking about, Vlad ignore? Said it can mimic us. Yeah, you're doing a good job of it, Penta. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Okay. I was looking for totems. I didn't see anything shiny. I'm sure I've missed a few. Come on, girl, you can do it. Uh. We're totems down the tunnel with the voices. Why, why leave? Whoever was under the trapdoor sounded like a distressed Sam, and then you find Sam completely fine. You can pretty safely assume the one under the trapdoor was not the Sam. I thought it was mimicking Jessica. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's gotta have it. But no, he's gone. Phoenix Grove. We're too late. <laughs> Shh, quiet. It may have taken him down to the mine. Wait. I'm 
gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. Hey! Whoa! Let's find a way down to where this fucker lives. Repentance. One hour until dawn. Say none. Ceiling lane just died in my room and it scared me. <laughs> That's like my wife last year when I was playing uh, Outlast for um, my spoopy October. She scared the hell out of me with a zombie mask. Just walk away. Nope. I gotta keep confronting them. Dude, 
dude's carrying some serious baggage. It's hard to believe that the thing used to be a person. Yeah. Maybe a miner. Maybe someone who worked in the sanatorium. There's so much weird shit happening out there that wouldn't even begin to surprise me. What kind of weird shit? Someone was capturing the Wendigo. Had them all tied up in these restraints. I saw some really fucked up shit. Wow. I must have just let them all out when I blew the place up. <laughs> Understatement <laughs> of the year. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it without sounding rude, but I mean, like, dude, that is, that is, like, a metric fuck ton of baggage. <laughs> Whoop. Flashy, flashy. Before we hop down into the water, what's over here? Mike, is that what I think it is? Shit, looks like a grave. That's one of their watches. Beth. Very good question. Or maybe what dug her up? Alright. We get to go in the water. I hate having to go in the water in any kind of scary game. I don't like that. Right? She didn't even put her fingers in the water, but just just going up into her waist, she can't feel her fingers. <laughs> they should it should have been I can't feel my toes. It's neck right on. It's a little late now. I can't go back in. That's okay. Oh, maybe I can go back in. I'm not necessarily going for a hundred percent though in this game. I mean, once I'm done, I'm done. I wonder if Hannah's the one that ate Beth. Shit. This looks like Hannah's writing. My little sister's dead. The fall killed her. I watched the color drain from her face. My leg is broken. I'm all alone, stuck here with Beth's body. Someone will come soon. Day five. I've never been so hungry. It feels like my stomach is twisting around inside. I took Beth's sweater. I'm much warmer now. She's still looking out for me. Sorry, Beth. Sorry, I have no choice. I'm dying. I have no choice. It's the only way I can survive it's anymore. If someone finds this, I'm sorry. I had to. I had no choice. Give me Beth. I'm sorry. I had to. I had no choice. What does it mean? Jesus. She ate her. 
My hands feel unclean. My nails fell out, pushed out. I'm aching, but no more cold, no pain. I'm getting stronger. Further writing devolves into scrawls. Yep, she turned oh, into gosh. a Wendigo. I think Hannah dug up Beth. It was Hannah. No, that's, Michael, that's ridiculous. Michael, it has to be. It's the only thing that makes sense. Beth died in the fall. So what? What does that mean? So Hannah must have buried him. God damn it. God damn it. Hannah was down here. I don't believe any of this. She would have been starving. She would have been desperate. Fuck! We need to find Josh. Right now. Okay. Sir, there's nothing else over here. Although that was a very key thing to go find. <clears throat> Pretty much solidified my suspicion that Hannah ate Beth. Hannah became a Wendigo. Up there. there? I'm glad. Fun fact: the people you killed appear on those that hooks. That's what it looked up. like. <laughs> There's no way Josh is gonna make it. Okay. If you help me up. So I'll it was just that. Uh, yeah. It was just yeah. the. Uh, you bring Josh dude, back the way we came and we'll The flamethrower dude. Be careful. Way to handle that subject with uh, sensitivity there, Mike. Right? Yeah, like, yeah, hey, you just got you out of some mental fucking breakdown, and I'm gonna tell you how your sister ate your other sister.
Hey, I feel I've done pretty good. Everybody's stayed alive. Despite my efforts to see Emily die. I just did it at the wrong times, I suppose. I could have shot her. Yes, I understand. No, don't go back in. No, oh my god, that's... That is a dumb idea. Oh, that is not a good idea. God, no. Stop moving. Uh, oh! Oh, my God. You're not real. oh, no, that's kind of no, real, Josh. Hello! Mike, you bastard. Why didn't you do anything? Oh my god, Matt's alive? Oh, hi, Hannah. <laughs> Oh God! Ah! Jess, is that you? Jesus, Jess, what the hell happened to you? How the fuck are you still alive? Yeah. Um. Inform. Something going on tonight. Someone really fucking with us up here. No. What? It's not. Someone did something. Jess, you, you, you had a pretty rough night. Hey, it's pretty confusing. No, I'm telling you. It's okay. I, I, I didn't mean to scare you. No, God. Doom. Yeah. Doom. Sorry, man, it's on mute so you guys don't scare me. <laughs> it works, Doom, but it's on mute, so... <laughs> Matt is apparently standing up with skin and no holes where guts are supposed to be. I'm confused, Phoenix Growl. Just got off of work. Man, another late one for you. Um, let's go this way. Maybe? I don't... I know she's been through hell. But I'm not 100% sure if she's in her right mind right now. When we closed, it turns out someone was passed out in the restroom and we had right about to leave when he walked out. Oh, jeez. I... So none of this I can, like, look at. The flamethrower guy said the Chris when I looked at Josh in the shed. He had seen it before he thought he saw Matt sort of die that way. I... Oh god. Run ahead. Oh no, we should have hid. We should have hid. Come on, come on. Oh my god. I 
I regretted that instantly. Break through? Which way? Did you just need to sit still? Okay. Well, that sucked. I did not want her to die. The second I said run, I was like, nope, I should have stayed still. I knew that was going to happen. Why is she climbing again? <laughs> Does she just like going off on her own? I mean... another like rock wall tries to make her run away from incredibly fast monsters glad logic shut up <laughs> you all heard me I regretted it the second I did it some food and coffee. Alright, dude, another bot man. Hey, let's get hypothermia. This sounds like a great idea. Dude, that was pretty graphic, watching her lower jaw just get ripped off. Kicking the dog. Yeah, that hand was dumb. I should have known better. I could be. Okay, we're at the shed. Him. Okay. That look he was giving. Mike, what happened to Josh? I got him. God, what an awful way to go. Oh, he's still he's got the three mile stare from watching the Wendigo get him. Josh, that's Not right. Good. Never mind, I forgot that he just watched that happen. 
be someone left down there. Okay. Dude, somehow Mike has managed to like stay sane during all of this. <laughs> That was the look of, I'm fucking exhausted and want to go home, right? That was the, I've seen some shit and I'm done. I don't want to do this How anymore. Of survival? Hmm? I'm trying not to think about it. Yeah, I saw Emily. Oh no. I'm gonna catch up chat in a little bit here. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna save Mike. Hey! Oh my god. Oh 
Oh my god, I was trying so hard to save him. I thought he had gotten out. per usual with all games I'm gonna go mute it for the credits to go by I'll be back when they're done I watched him die. I heard Jessica. I don't know how or why she was down there, but I know I heard her. He held it right up to my face, right here, right in front of my nose, and he could have shot me. He almost shot me, the prick. I mean, you go out with a guy for however long, and you think you know him, but man, this one really takes the cake. I was right there and I could have done something. I tried to do something. It wasn't good enough. I thought we were close. After his sister's disappeared, he'd come and talk to me. He said I was the only one who understood him. I thought... I thought we had a connection. If you need someone to talk to... I'm fine. Sometimes, after a traumatic experience... I said I'm fine. I... I stabbed him, and I tried to get away, but I didn't know. I swear I didn't know. Didn't know? Who did you stab? Oh, I, I, I stabbed the maniac. I didn't know it was Josh, but then he was the psycho, and how was I supposed to know Josh had all the sauce and the gun and all? Where's Matt? Is he okay? Are they done looking at him? I'm just a little worried because, you know, I'm his girlfriend. Did he tell you that? I mean, I probably wasn't his favorite person there for a couple minutes, but he knows how devoted I am to him. He knows. He, he said he knows, right? It was my fault Mike died. I wasn't supposed to move, but I did. And he saved me. So it's my fault that he died. You need to listen to me. I don't care if you believe me or not. It doesn't matter because you will. You need to go down to the mines. What's in the mines, Sam? I've seen what's down there. And I'd give anything to unsee it.
Oh shit. Okay, so MDC, welcome to the stream. Um, what is planned for October? So now that we have finished until dawn, uh, we have don't worry, we have plenty more spoopiness. Um, we tomorrow we will begin my series playthrough. It's not necessarily spooky, but it has to deal with vampires. So theme appropriate. Uh, we will be beginning the series playthrough of Legacy of Cain. We will be starting with Blood Omen 2, then we'll go on Soul Reaver 1, 2, and then um, Defiance. Uh, we will also be starting... Let me see. I think what we'll do for this week is we're going to do... Tomorrow will be Legacy of Cain, Blood Omen 2. Wednesday, we will begin Amnesia. We're going to be going, doing the Amnesia collection. Um, and then Thursday night's always broke like night. We're just going to keep running with that. Um, that'll always just be kind of what it's always been. Um, and then next week we'll have it to where two days will be Legacy of Cain and two days will be Amnesia. That is how you save Josh. <laughs> we feed him. Um, and so we'll go through with that. And once we finish Amnesia, then we will begin Layers of Fear. And I'm hoping... By that time, we'll be pretty close to Halloween, so it'll be lining up just perfect. I'm off tomorrow. The Shadow of War did just come out. <laughs> Doom, I totally get it, man. <laughs> but that's kind of what we have going for this whole time. Um, Saturday night, I'm, as long as I'm not busy, there's going to be the potential for... Uh, where the hell did I put my controller? Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, see, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna get it used, so that way I don't have to give Warner Brothers any of my fucking money. <laughs> but I'm not gonna get in on that right now. Um, what was I saying? So this Saturday night, I would like to possibly do another indie mixer. Uh, I actually have a number of indie games that are you know, have a little spooky theme to them, so we'll kind of go with that. Um, but I'm not sure what I'm doing this weekend. My wife's birthday is on Friday. We're going out Friday night. I can't remember if we're doing Saturday as well. <sighs> so that's kind of where we're sitting for at least the next few weeks. Um, this game, this game surprised me. I did not expect to enjoy this as much as I did. I'm still really upset that I let Mike die. I'm still really upset with that. Um, went out like a boss, though, right? He fucking saved everybody. So, kudos to him. Uh, I know it's a little earlier than normal, but I actually this actually works out well. I got some stuff that I could end up doing that I need to actually take care of tonight. So I think we're going to wrap the stream up here for tonight. Um, tomorrow night's stream... With Legacy of Cain, we'll start 8 p.m. Pacific time. Actually, nope, sorry. Might be. Yeah, bear with me. There's stuff happening tomorrow. Um, pay attention to Discord <laughs> and Twitter. The schedule, I'm going to try to have it around 8. Why is that? Yep, that's why. Because it's under that. Um, pay. Pay attention to those. I'm going to try to have it as close to the normal time, which is 8 p.m. Pacific time, but it might have to adjust. Uh, and that is where I will make announcements. It's in Discord on Twitter. So thank you, everybody, for coming out. Minyu, thank you so much for the resub, bud. I really do appreciate it. And with that, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your mornings, afternoons, and evenings. I am a very upset that I let Emily live. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.